Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta and I just got my book of shades from Colored Rain. So in this video I will show you how I depot my Colored Rain palettes and I will put them in my book of shades so I will show you how I organize it. So I already depotted the power palette and it looks like this when you depot them. And for the depotting I just use a spatula like this. I'm quite sure I got this one from Beauty Bay. And I will show you how I depot my um, Queen of Hearts palette and my Safari Rain palette. But first I just want to show you very quickly how this book of shades looks like. So obviously there's a beautiful photo of the CEO Lorraine here. So it looks almost like a magazine. And if you look at the size, it's a little bit bigger than my hand. So it's not very big, it looks like an actual book. And when you open it, you have this huge mirror here on the side. And between every sh side you have these slips that you can take out and you can like write the name of them with um, some kind of uh, crayon or pen. I would probably use a pen that is uh, not waterproof so that I could just take it away. But if you're sure of how you want your palettes to be organized, then you can probably just use some waterproof ones. So I might do that in the future. When you want to switch pages, you just do it like this. And then on both of the other sides, side two and three, there will be quotes on the sides. So there are different quotes and I'm not going to read them all for you, but <laughs> at least you know that's how it looks like. And then the back side looks exactly like the front page. And it's very, very pretty. So this is a beautiful uh, book or a palette to keep your single shadows in if you want to just have it on a stand or something like that in your room. So now that I've shown you this beautiful book of shades, which by the way I think retails for $42, but there's a lot of different codes out there that you can use. I'm quite sure you can use the code dupe that or trend mood or something like that as well. These are just my colored rain single shadows that I have, which I also of course want to place in my palette. But for now I'm just going to take it to the side. And so I think the next palette that I will depot is this beautiful Queen of Hearts palette, which I actually just got in the mail yesterday. Because I really wanted some of these shades, which are also sold as singles, the Empress and Ladyship. And it would have basically been the same price for me buying a couple of shades from her single shadows uh, range on her page as buying this on sale on Beauty Bay, because there I don't pay shipping if I exceed like $30 or so. So I will just show you how I depot these. So I just depotted two of these and I think I was not in focus so I will just show you again. So what I do is I just put my spatula here underneath like you have to push it to the side so you will sort of mess up the palette a little bit but it's not like a huge deal and then you don't want to press the pan too much from the side so you go underneath instead and then as you can see here it's uh, I think it's glued down with a little bit of glue but it's quite easy to lift so when you have it like this then it's really easy to just take the shadow from the cardboard packaging and then it will look like this underneath and here you have it I will show you one more without speeding it up. You take it down as far as you can, then you start to wiggle it and you just press the spatula completely down so you're not pushing to the side. And then you just loosen it from the cardboard packaging. And you want to be careful with your spatula so that you don't like dunk it into the shadow because I just hate it when you ruin your shadow either with your nails or with the spatula or something. So I think I will just go ahead and do the rest and speed through. I have both this palette. Oh, and there you see, here I just did what I told you I did not like. So I will just try to push that back again. And these shadows are like super soft. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I just love the metallic formula from Color Drain. Okay, so again, being more careful with the spatula <laughs> and then I will just speed the rest of this through so that this video won't be an hour long.
So there we have all of the different shadows actually departed from my palettes. And thank God, because it's a little bit uh, scary, because as you could see, I was almost breaking a couple of them, but all of them survived. The only one that got a little bit of a bump was this one, and it's still perfectly fine. So I will just make sure that all the cardboard underneath is not sticking out, because it's a little bit uh, attached to the glue still. So I will just make sure that they don't have anything sticking out. I don't know if it really matters but at least it will look better and before i'm starting to put it inside the actual book of shades i just want to um, put them in the order that i want so i will just have to see because i think it's 24 shades for each page here so you can see it's four times six so yeah it's 24 so I will just try to line out the first page that I want just right here on my table first. my first page mapped out how I want it. It's not that it's hard to take them in and out, but it's a little bit more demanding than just rearranging them here. But I think this is at least how I will do it uh, for today. And I just love to like change up my magnetic palettes, so it's very easy to just do that if you want to. So now I'm just slipping the different shadows inside my palette just where I want them. I was confusing myself a little bit because I had the palette this way and my palette that I had planned out like this but I think this looks nice so I will just leave this first page like this so it ended up being a very nice um, honestly just warm toned pinky purpley page which I really really love and I think it would have also been gorgeous to just leave all of the neutrals with the more cool toned colors and for example have some greens with the purples but for today, I will just do it like this, I think. If not, I will just change it up afterwards. So now we will see if these are staying. Oh my god, this is so scary. I mean, I've seen her like loosing the whole palette to the ground without anything happening. The slip is ruining my shadow. So that's how easy it is. It was super easy, both departing the shadows and putting them in here. So now I will just go ahead with my next page, which will be the rest of my colored rain shadows. And I will just have to do the same thing with them, like map out how I think I want them to be put in my palette.
so for now I think this is how I would like my second page to look like. Uh, I'm not like super happy with it, but I think it's fine. So I just added the shade, I think it's called Fantasy. Yeah, it's shade Fantasy from Makeup Geek. And then it's Hopscotch, because I think those would play very nicely with these other colors. Of course, I could have gone in with some more purples, but I feel like we have enough of purples on the other side, so I don't want to mix like even more of the Makeup Geek purples with the colored rain ones. Except from this one, I think it's playing very nicely with these other shades. So I will just go ahead and put these in the book. So we're going straight to the second side here of the book. And this time I'm making it a little bit easier for myself, so I'm just placing it the exact way that I want it. And let's see if we can slide these shadows to the side. Nope. <laughs> So I'll just start with this side. mess it up a little bit this time as well. I should just be <laughs> consistent and take one one uh, row by row but of course I don't do that <laughs> but I do like how this is looking. Um, I will just see that every... Ooh. yeah so they're not gonna fall out like this. So this is like one row with more neutral shades and then we have lots of greens a gold one but it's a very yellowy gold one and then we have my beautiful beautiful blue ones if there are some shades that you're really curious about what name is then I will double check it if you ask in the comments so just feel free to ask if you're wondering about some of the shades so for this last paint I'm not sure what to do because I have way too many Colourpop shadows right here so I don't think I will be putting them here because then I will just have a small palette with Colourpop. No, with the uh, Makeup Geek, I'm sorry. With Makeup Geek shadows outside the book. And I don't really want that. You know what? I just removed the shade Fantasy, the green one from Makeup Geek, and I, I've decided to put my Amy Hearts Beauty shadows here instead. So, because I have just the right amount, except from this white shade, and then I'm just going to leave the Makeup Geek one in the shade Hopscotch here. And I will just see if maybe I will later use another shadow from, for example, Coastal Scents that I don't um, use that much, at least not in the Coastal Scents palette that I have. Maybe I will replace it. But as of now, I will just leave it like this. And for the next page, the last page in my book of shades, I will just go ahead and put all of my Amy Hart's beauty shadows right into here, just the way that I have them here actually. So if you're interested in knowing what kind of shadows uh, are which, I will just copy it from my Amy Hart's beauty video because I have a video swatching all of these shades and I think it's in this exact order because I don't think I've touched my uh, or like reorganized my palette since then. So I will just leave that in the description box. Uh, and I will just leave a card up uh, here so you can um, go and check out that video if you want to see me swatch all of these shadows and use some of them. Because Amy Hearts Beauty is not a very, uh, very known brand, but they have a really nice formula. So I will just go ahead and pop these over to the book of sh shadows or book of shades. Perfect. 
so now I have actually all of my pages filled up and I'm really loving it and for when I'm traveling because I might be going to Mexico in February or I am going to Mexico I just don't know exactly when then I will probably just change out these take them out again and then just take my favorite shadows from the different brands because this is perfect for traveling because it's like really sturdy it seems so I will definitely be taking this one to travel with because I tell you I brought two of my 96 pan colored rain palettes with me <laughs> plus a whole uh, like this with uh, my Davina cosmetics shadows and boy that was a lot of eyeshadows so this is way better if you just if you know what kind of shadows you want I had no idea and couldn't choose so I just decided to like let's take everything except for my color drain and makeup geek shadows Amy Hearts Beauty those kind of things but it's really nice now to be able to travel with them in a safe way and have everything in the same place if you are interested in seeing some swatches of uh, all of the shadows in my book, like the colored rain shadows and yeah, well, I already have the Amy Hearts Beauty ones, so it's basically if you want to see swatches of these, then please leave a comment down below. What do you think about uh, the book of shades? Would you consider buying one yourself? And do you like the way I set up my book of shades? Just please leave a comment down below in uh, the comment section and tell me what you think and yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content from me feel free to follow my channel i do post every thursday and sunday and i'm trying to post every tuesday as well but i can't promise anything but at least i have that planned for the next weeks and yeah thank you so much for watching bye